the home of local Christian music. Amplify Podcast. Make loud his praise. Crumbling down, you're greater And in valleys deep, still I have no fear You're stronger Only you, Lord, can lead me through the fire Only you, Lord, sustain me through the trial And this one thing I know You have overcome the world And the victory is yours It is finished to have won You got over all When anxiety was great in me You brought comfort And my weapon is resounding praise Singing of your goodness Only you, Lord, can satisfy my heart Only you, Lord, you are my one desire And this one thing I Victory is yours. It is finished. You have won. You got over all. Oh, 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 oh,
Welcome to another episode of Amplify Podcast, the home of local Christian music. Well, I hope it, you had a great start to the year so far, even though it's been two weeks in the new year. But I believe God has great things in store for you and your family this year. So let's be expectant of what He's going to do in your life this season. And that is why in Christ we have this hope and future. And this hope isn't some kind of positive prep talk thing. But it is a confident expectation of good coming your way because you know He loves you. So you know what? Let's all get ready! Okay, coming along, you have just heard two lively praise songs and they are Jericho by Christ Methodist Church and this song is taken from their newly released EP album called Marked by Love. So do check out their new album on Spotify or you can click on their logo on their music page to hear more. And the second song you heard is from the youth of Cornerstone Community Church called Generations and the song is titled All For You taken from the album called Lean On and they have two worship albums currently which you can also check them out. And moving on, we got more songs coming up for you. We have songs from Hinghua Methodist Church Music. Yen Chu who has just released his newest single and last but not the least, Andrew Yo. And in our Amplified Diva Originals today, we are going to talk about God Supplies. And we are going to discuss like what does God supplies and how much does He supplies and will He ever stop supplying? 
So if you have a need today, then this devotion is specially for you because you need to know whether God supplies to you. So stay tuned to our Amplified Devo Originals where we prayerfully write our devotions to refresh, renew and restore your soul in Christ. And find out more later on in our program. And if you head down to our website, which is www.amplifystudiosg.com, you can also write in a song dedication. Yes, you can dedicate a song to someone, be it your family, loved one, spouse or friend, or even someone you like, or your colleagues or entire department and dedicate a song to them. Simply write in your name that you want to be known as uh, and the person's name whom you are dedicating to, as well as your encouraging message to them. And we will read them out on an Amplified podcast. So head down and write in as many as you like. And we also have our prayer and praise column on our website too. So if you have any prayer needs and you want us together with the listeners to pray alongside you, you can write your prayers on the prayer column on our web page. And the best thing is, it's anonymous. So you can write with ease and as many as you want. And if you have just experienced an answer prayer or a miracle, you can also write in your testimony on the praise column. We will read them out to give God the glory and also encourage our listeners who might be going through a similar situation and need the faith to believe God for their miracles. So write in to us, go to our webpage and check out all the other cool stuff on there too. And also do click on the Partner With Us tab on the menu too. Because we want you to partner with us in bringing revival to our land through the local worship songs in this podcast. And we believe that this podcast is a great tool and vehicle to bring the gospel to many here, not just in Singapore, but around the world too. And we can't do it without your support. So join us as our patron because your giving will not only help us to keep Amplified Podcasts up and running with more Christ-focused and uplifting content, you will also join us in building our vision which is to see revival in the land through the local worship songs that are inspired by the breath of God. So thank you for your support. Alright, moving on, we have Yen Chu's latest single release called Compass as well as a song called Show Me Your Face by Andrew Yo. But first, here's Hinghua Methodist Church with the song The Name of Jesus. So stay safe, stay blessed and stay tuned to the best mix of local Christian music only on Amplify Podcasts. Home of local Christian music, only on Amplified Podcast. Make loud His praise. Yeah. 
You're my shield and my reward. 
Amplify Devo. Be refreshed, be renewed, be restored. Hi, Amplify listeners. In today's Amplify Devo, we'll be talking about God supplies. And the scripture reading can be taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I am sure we all have heard of the term used frequently in economics class called demand and supply. In most or every business, this theory is in effect. Where there is demand, you must have the supply. Businesses feel when you have a high demand but a low supply of resources and products to meet the demand, or even vice versa. When you have a low demand but high supply of stock at your back end and you have to clear them. Demands are basically needs and supply is the resources to meet or fulfill them. In life, it is the same too. We all have needs and demands. And we are, especially in this hungry, consuming, digital world, are constantly finding ways and stuff to meet our needs. Whatever we need, we can all go online to find them and purchase them. Soon enough, they will arrive at our doorstep. We all have needs, be it our daily necessities, our wants or desires in life, or even in terms of our ability at work. We all have needs to be fulfilled in life. And as you grow up, your needs change. Your needs change even as you change roles in life. And God wants to meet your needs. Not just some of them, all of them. It is written in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. He wants to supply them. Which means, whenever you have a demand, He shall supply. And the word used in the Greek language is pieru, which means to fulfill, to fill up, to render perfect, to complete, to carry into effect, or bring to realization, to cause it to abound or to supply liberally. When God supplies, it is always to the brim. He doesn't supply 25% or 50% or 80% and leave you to work out the rest by yourself. No, He fully supplies whatever you demand or need in your life and He supplies it to the fullest. I believe God oversupplies. Now, I am sure some of us grew up hearing from people that we can ask God to supply our daily necessity needs, but not the wants and desires in life. But the word here used for need is khara, which means necessity, needs, business, in affairs, employment, lack, use, want, demand, or requirement. So even in your business or in your job search, God will supply. In every affair of your life, when there is a need, God will supply. Whatever you require in your life or job, God supplies. When you need finance to pay for certain things or debts, God will supply. Whatever you want in life, God will supply them. And if he doesn't, it is because he has something better for you. He will supply something far greater than what we can ask for or imagine as mentioned in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. And God will not run out of supply. 
businesses or men can run out of supply or resources, but not God. The verse in Philippians say that His supply is according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. It is based on His glory. And how long, how high, how deep, how wide, and how much of His glory? Verse 20 says, "And now to our God and Father, be the glory forever and ever. Amen." It is forever. Therefore, His supply is forever, and forever is a long, long, long time. You see, when Jesus rose from the dead and conquered death for us, He is seated in glory at the right hand of God. He is radiating in glory, and as Jesus is, so are we in this world. We are co-heirs with Christ. Whatever He has, we have. All we need to do is ask and believe in faith, and God will supply according to His riches in glory. God is rich in glory, and since God is love, His glory is full of love and grace. Glory, which means doxa, also means having a good opinion. When we give God the glory, we are having a good opinion of Him, which results in giving praise and worship to Him. When God supplies all our needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus, it means that God supplies to you based on His glory that is so rich in good opinions of you because of Jesus who has saved us and delivered us and granted His righteousness to us. When we ask God to supply, let us not doubt His love. Having faith in God means having no doubt about His love for us, and that He has a good opinion of us. So, what do you need today? What do you want in your life? Are you searching for a life partner? Do you need a new job or a new and bigger house? What do you require in your job or life? What do you lack? Ask and you shall receive. Don't doubt, but have full faith in His love. God shall supply all your needs. Forever and 
to edge from the fire Drawing closer to you is my only desire You're the one that I've been longing for Let me dwell in your presence to worship and adore I fall on my knees, Lord I'm yearning Alone. Deep calls to Thee, Lord, I know there must be more. Show me Your face, oh Lord, make my heart pure. Christian Music Amplify Podcast Make Loud His Praise 